Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just do my first, I guess I'll call this series of unexplained events perhaps, so video one of that. Um, the story I'm going to tell you is about my great-grandmother. My great-grandmother passed away a long time ago now. I don't remember exactly how old I was at the time, but I remember what happened related to that. Um, my great-grandmother, her name was Nanny. That's what we called her. Her real name was Ella, but everybody called her Nanny. Um, she was, I want to say 90-something when she died, so she lived to be a ripe old age. It was awesome. Um, and she was very, very close to my younger brother. And I think my younger brother was probably around four years old when she died, and he's 17 now, so if that gives you any idea of how long it's been. Um, and years after she died, like, her and I were not super close, per se. Like, I didn't dislike her, and it wasn't anything like that, but I... I don't remember feeling like we were super, super close. I always felt super close to my grandma, but not necessarily my great-grandma. Um, regrettably, I don't have a whole lot of memories of her anymore. I just, I think I was too young, which sucks, but I loved her a lot. Um, but I want to say probably somewhere around six years after she had died, uh, I had a dream that wasn't a dream. And this was so weird I'm just gonna tell you what happened and you can sort of judge for yourself whether or not I'm totally nuts but um, I will say I'm not making this up this happened to me so this is not just like a for fun kind of creepy story uh, I was sleeping and I had a dream that it was like the last time I had seen my great-grandmother which was at my grandparents house and she was sitting in this red chair and we even have a picture of that, like one of the last times I remember ever seeing her. Um, she was very close to when she went into the hospital. Her legs were leaking water and it was really just not good. But uh, in the dream, my whole family was there. And there's like, I think probably 20, 22 to 24 of us in our extended family. And everyone was in the house running around. And I remember standing across the room and I could see my grandmother and it was like I was just kind of watching her, my great-grandmother, I keep saying that, Nanny, I'll just say Nanny, watching Nanny, and all of my other family members were just kind of like going by and walking around, but I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention to them, it was like sort of my focus was just on Nanny. And uh, all of a sudden, everyone else in the dream was gone, and I was still in the living room of my grandparents' house with my great-grandmother. And I don't remember exactly what she said to me but I remember her asking about family members asking how people were um, asking about the cousin that I have um, Jamie Jamie was born after she had died and I remember her asking me about him but I don't remember exactly what I said or anything like that I just remember what we kinda talked about and it was a really happy dream like it was just really nice like I was just talking to my great-grandma and I hadn't done that in probably like six years at that point and so I woke up and I was so like in the mode of talking to my great-grandmother that to me when I woke up it was not weird that she was sitting next to my bed in a chair that I never ever used in my room which was always like it was a big heavy wood chair that was pushed into a desk and I just never ever used that at that age and she was sitting in that chair right up against, I had a waterbed, so she was like right up against it. And I just looked up at her and she just told me to go back to sleep. And she tucked me in. And I went right back to sleep. And the next morning I woke up and I was laying in bed and I was remembering this dream. And I'm just like, that was really weird. I don't know why I would have dreamed that. That was so strange. And I look over and that chair is next to my bed. Like... I never touched that chair and I just sat there in shock like I don't know what to do so I went downstairs and I told my mom what had happened and at first my mom got mad at me because she, she thought I was making it up first of all but she thought I was trying to play some kind of prank because I didn't know the day that I woke up and told my mom that was my great-grandmother's birthday and I had had no idea I, st I can't even tell you right now when my great-grandmother's birthday is. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but she thought I was trying to be a snotty brat, basically, and 
come up with a crazy story just to make her mad. And when I explained to her that that's not what happened, it's kind of like one of those really strange things in our family now that we just can't explain. So that is my first story of unexplained things that have happened to me in my life. And ghosts slash spirits that I have seen is my own great-grandmother. Nothing creepy about it. It was actually really, really nice. So comments, thoughts, video responses. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should maybe watch the intro video I just did. So, okay. Bye.